the Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders has demanded the arrest of the head of the Lagos State Parks Management Committee, MC Ulomo, for allegedly intimidating voters during the Saturday election. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders has demanded the arrest of the head of the Lagos State Parks Management Committee, MC Ulomo, for allegedly intimidating voters during the Saturday election. The coalition alleged that MC Ulomo and, and his boys forced the officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to alter the presidential election results. In a statement issued by its president, General Goodluck Ibe, after the protest, the coalition also tackled that the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, saying he was compromised. According to the statement, most of the results tricking in from states, particularly Lagos, AKT, Rivers, and others were not the original results. The statement reads in part, before the elections, we were told by the national chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo that INEC result will be transmitted immediately from the polling unit to the INEC porter. But what played out on Saturday was the direct opposition of what we were told. INEC refused to transmit results to the INEC porter, which gave them time and opportunity to manipulate the process. We demand the cancellation of results in those areas where it was obvious that they were voting, that they was voting by underage children, legible voters as stipulated, stipulated in the electoral law must be 18 years and above, and anything short of that cannot be accepted. There are videos and photos showing where underage children were casting their votes and INEC should work with that information, they said. Our father told us Oyibo cannot rule Nigeria. We had that in history. But this generation of Oyibo also can never rule. They lack knowledge, they lack sense, they lack wisdom of politics. Okay. Someone just dropped that. See, my people, make we not just go far, you know. In a sin country, by now, that man would have been arrested. What he did was very wrong. That is bad. How can you be intimidating people if you know that you are here for Peter Obi? If you know you are an evil man and you want to vote, vote for Peter Obi, leave this polling unit. And right there, a policeman, a Nigerian soldier, we were looking at him. He was making all these threats. And nothing happened. You understand? He was making all these threats. If you are an Igbo man, you cannot vote. And if at all you want to vote, you will vote your conscience. You have to vote according to my, in fact, according to my direction, according to my command. Is that democracy? Is that one called the election? Because if you talk now, so many people go say, Bola Tinubu don't win. Uh, Peter will be the cry. That is not the issue. Things are supposed to be done rightly. A person just said something the other day. They were hitting him left, right, and center. He's inciting, inciting ways. He's using inciting ways and all that. He wants to cause problem in the country. He wants to cause confusion and all that. I don't know whether these people don't, don't know the difference between expression, when you are expressing your feelings, and when you are advising somebody. These people, they will turn it upside down. Because Obasan just said those areas, 
that election did not take place, maybe because of violence or because of uh, late arrival of electoral materials, if I make, if they can suspend the, the, the collection of results and at least conduct elections in those places, let the, those Nigerians who could not vote, let them cast their votes. They, they, because this thing, well, now they do, it will cause problem in future. They say it won't cause wahala. It won't, it won't, it won't turn the country upside down. It is using inciting ways and all that. It's speaking war. Nothing they, they never tell them. But all these things that happened, everybody, they saw it. They saw this MC Olomo threatening people in the Pune unit. It was not hidden. So what happened? What happened? Nothing will happen to him because it belongs to the ruling party. If this matter now, when would they talk now, say the other way around, say maybe say they announced me to be as a winner, and maybe now one Igbo man talk this thing for one state in the southeast. If you know you are a Yoruba man and you are here for Tinubu, live here, and all that. By now, they for that arrest that person. But because this guy belongs to the ruling party, he's untouchable. There are things we do that even the ground we march, even the water we drink will be judging us in life. That election they conducted, they themselves, they know. They know what they did. Nigerian government came with the policy of new Naira redesign. Just a suffer us for nothing. And they know that they know how to, you know, get what they want. They went for the higher bidder. They they captured INEC. Do you know why I said that? After election in after election in the polling unit, Oga upload the result. They say he forgets the pass the password. So say they don't know where the password they some say it cannot upload and you see them making call they will tell you they said they said they should bring bring the beavers to the office i neck office that is where they will be able to upload the results why would people not feel that the election was manipulated when you're supposed to upload this result in the polling unit you did not do that and they want people to clap for you. Because if they talk, if you talk, they say, Igbo people, this is wrong. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for listening.